Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You might ask yourself, why are there so many photos on the table? Well, this is because I'm putting together a new zine, my Cairo zine, which will be out in roughly three to four weeks. I've already done all the sequencing and uh, the design is almost finished. So it will be printed in roughly two, one or two weeks, I guess. So yeah, but more on that later. Because I finished all the sequencing, let's get rid of the photos here. Okay guys, let's get back to the topic of this video and this video is all about my experience shooting street photography in Istanbul. Besides the photography related part of this video, Istanbul is a place with enormous history and its roots date back to the ancient Greek. So I think even if you're not so much interested in shooting street there, it's still a place worth visiting. Now let's get back to photography. You might have heard about the famous Turkish photographer Ara Gula who was also a Magnum photographer and he documented life in Istanbul over many decades. And somehow his work reminds me on Fan Ho, who also um, documented the life on the streets in Hong Kong over many years. And he was documenting a time that is long gone now and uh, the city looks very different. The same applies to the work of Ara Gula. His photos show a different Istanbul, different from what you see now when you go there. It's pretty exciting stuff. A couple of years back when I was in Berlin, there was this Ara Gula exhibition going on and some friends told me about it and so we went there. And let me tell you, that was pretty exciting. I had no idea about him and the photos I saw there, and they were so great. So I picked up this book here, which uh, I will show you some nice b-roll so you can see some of the photos. Pretty exciting stuff, highly recommended. This is very, very beautiful. And you might also be familiar with uh, this guy here. No, I'm not talking about the boy on the cover here, but this book by famous Magnum photographer Alex Webb. He traveled to Istanbul many times and the result is this book. And it's also worth checking out if you haven't seen it. I will show you some B-roll so you get an idea. So after seeing all these amazing images, I had to go to Istanbul myself and see what it's all about. A little fun fact for you guys. Istanbul is divided by the Bosporus, which is not only splitting the city in half, it is also dividing the European continent from Asia. That means you're only a short ferry ride away from shooting street photography in Europe and in Asia within one hour, which is pretty exciting. Not that it is of any importance, but it's a little fun fact nevertheless. What is rather important is because the city is divided by the Bosporus, it means it has a very, very long coastal line, which is very good if you're a photographer because the city feels very open and is flooded with light, which is absolutely gorgeous. Even though it's a big city with just shy over 15 million people, it's unlike any other place I've ever visited, where it can get tough to find good spots to shoot around sunset or even sunrise, but Istanbul was very different and I had no problem finding good lighting no matter where I went. To give you an idea, here are three areas of the city where I mainly shot and I had a great time doing so. The first area is around here and it's basically where the main tourist attractions like the Hagia Sophia or the Blue Mosque are. Yes, um, there are tons of tourists, but if you stay rather close to the waterfront, there's also a lot of people around that area and it was good fun shooting there as well. And of course, close by there is the famous Galata Bridge where you can find dozens of people fishing all day long. Especially around Golden Hour, the western side of the bridge is a really good spot to shoot at since there is heaps of people around. When you cross the Galata Bridge, you will get to the Karaköy area, which is also pretty nice. When you walk up the hill, you'll find a lot of old and narrow alleyways. And from there, you can go to Taksim Square or Besiktas, where I didn't spend much time but hopefully I'll be able to next time when I'm in Istanbul. 
Now, if you take the ferry over to Kadikö, especially on a weekend, you'll find tons of people as soon as you arrive. And I found it very interesting to walk south along the shore towards Moda. There, it felt like a very local experience and it was incredible to shoot in that area. A lot of people having a picnic there and I especially remember this scene here. People were chilling out in front of a parking lot and it was surrounded by barbed wire. And that was pretty bizarre. I also shot a video over there. <coughs> Expand. <coughs> but uh, more on that later this year. And talking about Xpen, um, if you haven't picked up my Xpen zine, you can do so. There's only a couple of copies left and if you want one, the link will be in the description box down below. So these are the spots I spent most of my time, but I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of other spots that are also really good for shooting street. Now you might ask yourself how to get around all these amazing places. And let me tell you, the best way to explore the city is by simply walking. Each day I walked between 15 and 25 kilometers, which sounds a lot, but over the course of a whole day, actually it isn't that bad. The interesting part of the city is pretty walkable and if you take a taxi from one spot to the next, you will probably miss out on some cool uh, shooting opportunities. So I would really recommend walking. And in case if you're wondering, uh, there's no Uber available. I mean, they have Uber, but it's Uber, it's Uber XL and that is not very convenient. And if you need to take a taxi, sometimes it can be a hustle because they don't want to use the meter and they might rip you off. So you have to persist on using a meter and sometimes it takes a while to find a taxi uh, that is willing to do so. Oh, and if you are arriving there at the new airport, you can easily take a bus that will uh, take you to Taksim Square, which is pretty uh, in the center of the city. And from there you can easily reach your hotel or Airbnb or whatever. The buses go very quick, frequently, so it's a good way to get into the city for really cheap. I was in Istanbul at the beginning of May and in terms of weather, it was pretty much perfect. I think the best season to go to Istanbul is in spring or autumn because in winter it can get really cold and it's, in summer it can get really, really hot. So I think in my mind, I mean, if you're okay with hot weather, then it's okay if you, even if you go in the summer. But I think uh, April, May or maybe September, October should be like the perfect months to visit Istanbul. But still, even if you go in winter or like I just mentioned in summer, you should have a great time going there and I think there's not a wrong time to visit Istanbul. And now let's talk about something a lot of you might be interested in and that is safety. When I was there, um, it felt really safe. However, I've heard reports about certain areas in the city where it's not really safe, where there's a lot of like crime going on. And if you go there as a photographer, you can get in trouble. For instance, west of Taksim Square, there's an area which is notorious for being um, a crime area. I've heard bad things about it, but when I was there, um, there was not much going on and it felt really safe. I was there in the daytime, I have to say. Um, maybe it might be different at night. It wasn't that interesting. Maybe if you go there on another day, it might be very different. Who knows? But in all other places of the city that I went to, um, that I just showed you on the map, I felt really safe and I had no issues at all. So how did people react um, being photographed? And let me tell you, it was bad. It was the, no, it wasn't. Actually, it was really, really good. Um, I had not a single incident where somebody was complaining about being photographed. And I think it's like in other places. Um, it's how you approach street photography and it's how you approach people, how you get close to people. And I think that is more important than the place itself. I would say, don't worry, you'll be fine if you go there and shoot street. Now, let's talk about prices. At the moment, the Turkish economy is not doing that great. And also the, the currency is pretty weak, which is very, very unfortunate for all the local people, especially the photographers that I've met there. Uh, for them, it's pretty bad because everything is really expensive. On the flip side, if you go there traveling, everything feels really cheap. And also like gear and everything is really, really cheap. If you're on a, on a tight budget and you wanna go do some street photography, I can highly recommend you go to Istanbul right now because it's a very good spot for that and it's very affordable. And if you're a film shooter like I am, Istanbul is also pretty good because close by the Galata Bridge, there are some shops that um, have all kinds of film and they also offer developing and scanning for really, really cheap and the turnover time is pretty quick. So you can get like one day turnover for a really, really good price. Okay guys, to wrap this up, if you wanna explore a city that has a great and rich history and a lot to offer like Istanbul, 
and you want to step into the footsteps of great photographers like Ara Güler or Alex Webb, I can highly recommend that you go to Istanbul. The people are super, super nice. The food is very good. At the moment, it's very affordable and you have lots of lots of places with very, very good lighting. So highly recommend going to Istanbul and see for yourself. If you have been to Istanbul already, leave a comment down below and maybe share your experience. And also if you have further questions or any tips regarding Istanbul, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more photos, you want to see the film stocks that I used and where I shot them, go to my website and check out the blog post with all the details. And yeah, other than that, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want me to do more of this kind of reviews about places, um, let me know. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other very soon in the next video. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.